Lady Susan will finally visit. Lady Susan Vernon. That woman's a fiend. Congratulations on being about to receive the most accomplished flirt in all England. Excuse me for arriving this way. What a delightful family pose. Mrs. Cross, now come with me as my companion to pack and unpack. And as there's a friendship involved, I'm sure the paying of wages would be offensive to us both. My brother-in-law is very rich. In one's plight, they say, is one's opportunity. Sir James Martin, vastly rich, rather simple. How jolly. Tiny green balls. What are they called? Peas. If my daughter were not the greatest simpleton on earth, she'd be engaged to him now. But, Mama, I can see Sir James is a kind man, but marriage is for one's whole life. Not in my experience. May I present Lady Susan? Delighted to make your acquaintance. He's handsome, isn't he? In a calf-like way. Mannering's in town. Have you seen my husband? Horrid woman. Deranged. But if she were going to be jealous, she should not have married such a charming man. Does this woman always get her way? She has an uncanny understanding of men's natures. I can't help fear that Lady Susan Vernon would destroy every comfort of our lives. With pleasure. How ungentle. I'm enjoying Sir James's visit to Churchill. Churchill? That's how you say it. All together like that. I'd heard church and hill, but couldn't find either. All I could see was this big house. <laughs> you promised that you would give up all contact with this woman. What a mistake you made marrying him. Too old to be governable, too young to die. Lady Susan. How dare you address me, sir? Be gone or I will have you whipped. Outrageous. Have you never met him? No, I know him well. I would never speak to a stranger like that.